Hey Gravity Sketch users. In this video, I will be showcasing how to prep your Gravity Sketch data for export in a twin motion. So let's get into it. The first step is to pull out your trusty paintbrush in the Color and Materials tab of your toolbox. We are going to strategically apply a color breakup to the vehicle to make a clown car. The term clown car refers to a breakup of parts that are grouped by similar materials. So with this strategy, we are going to be colorizing material groups, such as the rubber, for the tires. Some things to keep in mind for this method. Convert all objects to sub-D, or else you will be unable to select them into in motion. Materials within Gravity Sketch do not affect the output here. And differentiate the colors by adding or subtracting light from the primary hues within the color wheel. This strategy will make things a lot smoother once we jump into twin motion, but more on that later. As you can see here, I'm blocking in the large elements first and then paying closer attention to the small details to ensure that every object is colorized. It's important to address all areas so that you do not have to jump back and forth between gravity sketch and twin motion because you overlooked a specific element on the vehicle. Once you've colorized every element, Spin the vehicle around a bit to double check if you covered all the elements of your design and that they are colorized as a group by material choice. The next step is ensuring that all of your normals are in the correct outward facing position. The 6.2 update reintroduced the normals wand back into the toolbox location. This is a pretty easy step, but it can make things complicated if you miss any objects, so inspect thoroughly. If you've gotten this far, it's time to export. Now with version 6.2, this will be a breeze as there is a preset created for rendering exports. Scroll down to the rendering preset and press the check mark at the bottom of the menu. After you name your file, it will download the landing pad where you can find the FBX in the Cloud Exports tab located on the top left of the window under the Asset Library. Select Download and the file will appear in your computer downloads. After you have Twin Motion up and running, it's time to import the Gravity Sketch FBX using the Import tab on the bottom left of the screen. Once the Import tab is open, you will be confronted with some options, most notably the Collapse option. We are going to select Collapse by Material, which will utilize the color breakup we established in Gravity Sketch so the color groups we established will carry over in the import. You have now successfully imported your Gravity Sketch data to Twinmotion. And here comes the fun part, assigning the materials. To assign materials, go to the Material Library and choose from a variety of options to make your design feel realistic. As you click and drag materials over to your asset, you will see the groups we establish in Gravity Sketch at play. For example, the green cladding you see here will adjust as I drop a black plastic material over the front bumper. After a few minutes, you'll have a completely dressed up model that you can spin around, create renderings and animations with within Twinmotion. I hope this demo was helpful and see you next time.